president. Our correspondent Luis de Was has been following developments for us in Kinshasa and filed this report for us on the day's events. <laughs> of jubilation in Kinshasa where opposition supporters are celebrating the declared victory of Felix Chisikedi who won with just over 7 million votes. We were waiting for someone who listened to people. So here you can see people who went to, to vote and they expressed their feeling about after voting. So this is democracy. I'm so very happy. I want to jump and cry. This is a historic moment for the opposition who has failed for decades to seize power. For many, this is finally the time for change. And supporters of President Joseph Kabila have also praised his willingness to hand over power. But the challenges facing the next president are immense, and some are doubting Felix Chisikedi's independence and ability to govern. Rumors of a backroom deal between Chisikedi and President Joseph Kabila worry some, like political analyst Albert Moleka, who believes the outgoing president will try and stay influential behind the scenes. We already understand that uh, he still doesn't really want to go hmm? he still needs to, to you know to have a control on uh, on all the system and uh, this is what uh, this deal would offer him but uh, I think the most important thing is what will the people do what will the population do the country's powerful Catholic Church, who deployed election observers on voting day, is claiming that another candidate should have won. According to the analysis of our observer mission, that the results of the presidential elections, those published by the Electoral Commission, do not correspond to those collected by our observer missions in the voting stations and at the counting. <laughs> While the ruling party's candidate, Emmanuel Ramazani Shadari, has conceded, Martin Fayulu from the opposition has rejected these results. Pressure is now on the courts, who will deliberate on any challenges and announce a final winner. Louise Doast, BBC News, Kinshasa. Well, let's go.